Hey there, Frailers. Well, I don't know, a couple of months ago, I did a quickie video just for fun, and I think I called it Bugs Bunny's Greatest Hit, or one of Bugs Bunny's Greatest Hits, and uh, kind of just did it quick and impromptu and threw it up on YouTube, and I uh, actually got a request from somebody wanting to know how to play it. Um, so I said, all right, well, you know, I only knew a verse or so, uh, and that's really, as I say, picked up from a Bugs Bunny cartoon. But I did a little research and found some of the other verses, and the, the songs go, you know, the song goes back. And there are a whole bunch of people who were saying, oh, I, you know, remember this from my grandpa I used to sing it, or my dad used to sing it to me when I was little. And they all had different variations on the verses, so I just kind of picked the four ones I liked the most and combined a couple together to get something I that I liked and uh, this is how it goes it's a song uh, I call go fetch the axe and again as I say I first heard it in a Bugs Bunny cartoon oh peeping through the knot hole in grandpa's wooden leg who will wind the clock when I am gone go fetch the axe there's a flea on Lizzie's ear and a boy's best friend is his mother. Oh, I fell out a window, a second story window. Slipped and spray my eyebrow on the pavement. They feed the baby garlic to find her in the dark. We hope that grandma's teeth will soon fit Jenny. When horses run around, their feet are on the ground. Why they build the shore so near the ocean? Get the Listerine, your sister's got a bow. They dug up Fido's grave to build the sewer. Oh, while peeping through the knot hole in Grandpa's wooden leg, a bookworm ate some glue and lost his supper. A snake belt slips because he got no hips. And his waistline is just below his necktie. <laughs> you can pretty much do anything you want with that, but chord-wise, it's, you know, it's pretty simple, actually. So it starts out in G. And I do some hammer-ons in here. Kind of going back and forth. So it's a straight frailing straw. And it's just, oh, peeping through the knot hole. That's G. In the leg. Who oh, wind the clock when I am. Now it goes to D. Gone. Again, I'm doing a little hammer on here. You can kind of alternate. Some people would rather, if your hands are bigger, you can do that with your third finger, you can go. So this is the power D, which is just played on the second and third strings here. So you can kind of take your little finger or your third finger and kind of go, you know. All playing along on the fourth fret, just kind of with a little hammer-ons here. back to G. So, so, peeping through the knot hole in Grandpa's wooden leg, who will wind the clock when I am back to D, that power D again, gone, back to G, go fetch the axe, there's a, now it goes to C, flee on Lizzie's ear, and back to D, and a boy's best friend is his mother. second verse, which is the same. I fell out the window, a second story window. I slipped and sprained my eyebrow on the pavement. They feed the baby garlic to find her in the dark. And we hope that Grandma's teeth will soon fit Jenny. 
Now I threw a solo in between. You could actually put a solo if you want to anywhere between the verses if you feel like you want to do one. So I just kind of did a little. So that's really, I'm just sliding, sliding to the third fret on the second string and then hammering on the fifth. That's all I'm doing here. And that goes to D. C, and then I'm throwing a C7 in here, which is just at the third fret on the third string here. And then back to D. Back to the basic railing strum and just hammering on. Horses run around, their feet are on the ground. Why they build a shore so near the ocean? Get the Listerine, sisters got a bow. They dug a fighter's grave to build a sewer. And I just, the way I ended it, I probably never do it the same way every time, but it's, I just kind of. That's really if you got if you play a D7, which is play here. Remember the D7 can kind of move up and down. You can... so I've just kind of and back to open G here. So that's uh, that's the whole thing. That's go fetch the axe, and uh, as I say, it's really not all that difficult. I'm throwing extra, you know, hammer-ons and embellishments in there, but it's still just your basic G, D, C. So or G, D, back to G. That goes to C. Back to G. Back to D. Back to G. So it's still just your basic G, C, and D. Anyway, you have fun with that, and I'll see you next week.